there is one style of game that is lacking in the ColecoVision library. Lacking in that there is only one game ever made that uses the concept. The concept I'm talking about is a full-blown text adventure. No graphics, no sound, just text. Why would you want to do that on the ColecoVision, you'd say? Well, if you think about the time period when the ColecoVision came out, a lot of the games that had been played for half a decade or more were straight text adventures. Just think back. Zork, Hitchhiker's Guide, any of the Scott Adams adventures, any of the Infocom adventures, they were text adventures. There's only one text adventure for the ColecoVision a one text only game for the ColecoVision it's called it's only rock and roll Grey Castle is going to open up that genre to the ColecoVision Grey Castle is a massive open world that you can walk around and interact with non-player characters go on quests go on adventures fight on fight enemies Gain treasure, all while you're trying to solve the puzzle. Great Castle will not be a game that you could pick up and play for 10 minutes and put down. It's a game that you're going to have to invest hours playing. And, depending on how we design it, you'll be able to save your progress either on the cartridge or using a version of the RAM board that will have non-volatile memory on it that saves your progress. So what I want to do is I want to show you a really quick demo of part of the game. So what you're looking at here is the intro text. Explains what's going on to you and please ignore the banging in the background if you can hear that. The pizzeria downstairs from my office I guess they're doing some expanding. So what you're seeing here is the intro text that explains to you the backstory. A couple things that you may or may not notice on here is, first off, this is a ColecoVision program. It has automatic word wrap, which I'm kind of fascinated about. And all automatically pause it on the screens too. So I do not have to format the text. I let the text format itself. So what we got here, and I'm not going to read it to you, you've had plenty of time to read it, but basically you, you're waking up on the beach and your ship has been destroyed. So I just pressed the fire button, which took me to the next page, and you see where you're at. I'm sitting at the boat debris. Scattered around you is the debris from the boat, though the crashing waves you can see the remains of the boat. The beach continues to the north and the west. You see a dagger and potion here. There's a hungry rat here. You can go north or west. So if you get it, if you're reading it, you get a good idea right now what's going on. Controls. Now there's some people have said, well, you need a keyboard. You don't need a keyboard. It's called context sensitive. The first thing it does, it gives you your verb. What do you want to do? These are the verbs right here. I can cycle through the verbs using the joystick. And I'll add more verbs or less verbs as necessary. And then when you select a verb, let's just say I selected go by pressing the fire button. Now I can select through the nouns or the adjectives or whatever the proper word is for that. So right here, I'm at the boat debris. I'm gonna go, it says I can go north or west. I'm gonna go north, because I just wanna give you a brief look at how the game works. I'm gonna go north. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna go east first because I dropped an item over there to the east that we're gonna want. I can get, actually, let's do this. Hit the arm button to get rid of that. I'm going to pick up things. Let's get the potion. Let's get the dagger. Now, and you can see now, if I go into, where is it? Show items. You can see I'm holding a potion and dagger. Well, I, I got in my pack a potion and dagger. I'm holding nothing and I don't have any coins. I can also show the stats too. My strength is 11. My hit points are 20 of 20. And if I do show help, it gives you a rough idea up and down to view words, fire to select words, use arm to undo your selection. So now I'm going to go east and pick up the thing that I, got, I left over there on purpose. 
Uh, I'm sorry. I'm going to go where? Uh, where am I at? Oh, wait. Uh, let me look at my map real quick. I got to go north first. I'm going to go north. And east. North. And east. Until I get to a place where I can go. I'm almost there where I want to go. North. East. Getting there. Just bear with me. All right, now I know where I'm at. For a while while I was testing, I had myself starting out at a different position, so I got lost in my map head. Now I'm just going to go east one more. I see a whetstone here. I just want to get that because that's going to be part of what I want to do next. So now I'm now I got a whetstone. Now I'm gonna go back west. I want to go north. I'm at a fishing village here. Small fishing village here. It looks like about a dozen or so buildings and a market surrounded by a wall. The gate is locked and there's a guard to the north. A path leads to the south. There's a hungry seagull here. And just so you know, where these animals are, you can attack them. I'm not doing bothering with attacking right now, but I could show you that. But I'm not gonna do that. I want to just show you the interaction with characters. I'm gonna go north again. Because that's where the guard is. The guard is a large man holding a very large axe that he swings slowly back and forth at you. He seems to be obsessed with how sharp it is. And you notice my verbs have changed. Now I have. I can ask about things. I can offer things or I can leave. So I'm going to ask about treasure. The Ooh, i got to put the word guard in there. The guard stops swinging his axe and says, There is treasure everywhere, even under the sea acts about monsters and he says some things about monsters and skeletons everyone is obsessed acts about directions he stops swinging the guard stops swinging his axe and says i don't think i understand you winks and holds out a hand maybe that gives you an idea i think i beeped outside too i wonder what that means hmm winks and holds out his hands like he wants something i can offer things i can offer the potion the dagger or the whetstone Let's see, he's got a very sharp axe. He's obsessed with how sharp the axe is. Ooh, maybe I have to offer a whetstone. Offer whetstone. I'm offering a whetstone. Now I'm going to ask him about directions again. He stops swinging his axe and says, You can go anywhere, but if you want to go into this village, you need a talisman. Sorry, rules. The offer is quickly taken and hidden away. See, I can interact with people. He just told me something I need to do. And I can't go north. If I try to... Or in, see... It says the gate is locked and there is a guard to the north. So if I want to go through the gate, I want to go in. So I'm going to go in. The way is blocked. See, it's locked. I can't go in. And then the guard said I needed a talisman. I wonder where that talisman is in this game. This is a very big game. And it's just getting started. So this is a rough idea of what's going on, what I'm building right now. This is Grey Castle. And Grey Castle is going to grow and grow and grow and be a giant world. It won't even be one game. I have other ideas for games that come right after it that are a part of Grey Castle's little mythology that's happening here. Just uh, let's see. I just want to. I'm going to go south here. Let's see. Oh, there's a hungry rat here. So let me let me do something. I'm going to hold. I'm going to hold my dagger. Dagger. I'm holding my dagger. And now I'm going to attack the rat. And he attacks me back. You see my hit points showed up there on my command line there? I just lost three hit points. I can get him back if I use my potion. But I'm going to attack again. Attack succeeded. He missed me. I'm going to attack him again. He's attacking me. It was ineffective. I'm going to attack him again. He missed me. I'm going to attack him again. He missed me. I'm attacking him again. Oh, he hit me. Look, I'm going to now use potion. Use potion. Feel much better. See, it, it, it gave me one hit point back. I can do it again. But the issue I have is, I'm in the middle of fighting this drag. Uh, oh, I got up to 20. I'm in the middle of fighting this rat, and every time I make a move, he attacks me back. He's an angry rat, so he's really mad at me. I'm going to leave. I'm going to go south. If I leave, the rat gets a parting shot. Oh, I can't go south. Oh, I forgot. I should look at my directions. I'm going to go uh, east or west. I'm going to go west. 
that he gets parting shots at me. There's, uh, I'm going to now. Let's just see what I'm doing here. I'm going to show my stats. Oh, I am okay, though, because the potion cured me. So this gives you an idea of what Grey Castle is going to be. And it's growing as I'm building it right now. As I said, it encompasses... Uh, it encompasses about 60, 70 unique locations and a lot of wandering areas which incorporate eh, about uh, 16,000 unique locations in the wandering areas. And that's just the beginning of it. That is only half of the first 16k bank and we have seven banks to play with. This is going to be a very, very large game. And it's very interacting in that, or not, uh, interactive, might be right. It's very interconnected. As you see, I cannot go into the village without a talisman. Where is the talisman? Well, you got to go find the talisman. It's not laying around either. That whetstone is just laying there because I left it there just on purpose. But the whetstone won't be laying there eventually. It will be somewhere else. There are going to be puzzles and things that you need to do to play the game. So that's where I'm working right now. And as you can see, it's a very unique game. I'm going to change the font too. This font I'm not too happy with. I want a more of a fantasy style font. So I'll incorporate that later when I get into the actual graphical designing to make it look better. But it's going to be a text-based game and no sound. So it's just going to be something us older guys will like. Not a shoot 'em up your pack, grab the joystick and start going fire, boom, 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 explode, kill things. No, this is, you're going to have to think. You may end up, because there is no mapping, you may end up having to go really old school and grab a piece of graph paper and actually draw out your map so you know where you're at. Though there is a finder in here, which may or may not make it into the finished game, which helps you when you're in the wandering areas. You'll know more about the wandering areas later. I will give another post, maybe next week, detailing what a wandering area is. But this is Grey Castle. Grey Castle, I am slating Grey Castle to be released. Or to be finished and released in July, if not the end of June. Retro Game Club members will get first shot at it. They'll be able to purchase it first. Non-members, it's probably going to be August or September when they can get to it. And we probably will end up using the Ramboard. I even got a new name that I think I like, Ramboard NV, which stands for Non-Volatile Ram. Basically what it is is we replace the 32K SRAM on the RAM board with a 32K non-volatile RAM. Then use the 8K of RAM that hides underneath the OS7 on the RAM board to store stuff. That doesn't go away when you power it down. Nifty. Technically I guess it would work on a super game module too, but as soon as you turn the power off the super game module, oops, sorry it's gone. And it might work on, well, it will work on the Atom too, but as soon as you turn off the power on the Atom, oops, sorry, it's gone. So I will have a secondary way of saving your progress if we don't end up doing a save on cartridge. So there you go, Great Castle. Quick and dirty demo. Have a good one.